And at the same time, it is a bit of a double-edged sword, let's say, because there is this freedom. No, there's of only the upside. <laughs> only upside. No, no, but in a in in a situation in which um, art has opened up and um, there is more freedom of expression to to make your own NFT, to publish your own F NFT. Um, you will have a huge variety of, of things happening, mm -hmm. um, some good, some maybe less. Yeah. Um, so but the irony is that the good and the bad, there is really no scientific definition of what is good. No. So it's all just like whoever graduated and became the curator, yeah. their opinion, that's what good or bad. I, but yeah, yeah. I, it, there's this story, my, my dad is an art teacher. And he's from the generation where all the art teachers love uh, Picasso and Matisse, and they don't like kitsch. There's a very strong high art, low art uh, dichotomy. And then someone comes from a small town, and they really love gothic subculture and airbrush. So they do uh, airbrushes similar to the alien monster, like H.R. Geiger. And then all the teachers say, no, that's forbidden. We're going to break you until you make art, because that's not art. And so this whole idea that there is good and bad art, I think there's no definition of good and bad music. That but, you don't say, oh, you... Yeah, but so then what, but there are in, uh, so maybe there is not good or bad, obviously, but in the art world, there are artworks that are more shown and less, that are yeah. more uh, no. written about, that are more... So, who, and, and that is usually decided by curators, by museums, mm -hmm. uh, they, they have also like the, this role. Um, so within the NFT world, who decides which one gets more seen, less seen, uh, or more sold, it's less, and less sold? I, I think it's less important in the same way that you cannot. People say, "Is there an Instagram aesthetic? Is there a dominant Instagram aesthetic? The, the aesthetic of a shot of espresso with a funny shape in the foam, or like a selfie of you looking cool at the beach?" But there's also really weird stuff on Instagram. And the same, is there a Spotify aesthetic? There's just, there's so much of it that you can't say what's good or bad. There's a range from Britney Spears to noise music, and they all exist on the same infrastructure. So you can't really judge the infrastructure in an aesthetic perspective because so many things exist. The thing that interests me a lot is just the type of person who never felt they would have a shot in the cultural field that they start to participate. And that to me is interesting because it's new. So we, we haven't had that, that they are on the same plan. And so whether Bored Apes is financially successful or uh, let's say Gerhard Richter, the, the new Gerhard Richter that, who's making NFTs, we'll see, it, it just, it's too early to say anything. But, I've never, with, with anything, I've never been so interested in winners and losers and hierarchy. It's more mm -hmm. the idea everybody can participate.